my name is Amy and I have an idea for Jaime Ivanes and his girlfriend Elizabeth. I know that you're kind of interested in finding a property and I think I have a good idea for you. I kind of stumbled upon this, so stick with me. Think about it. If you were to get a property, you want to be able to make some money off of that property, like a duplex or a multifamily. But what about if you get a townhome? But a townhome that allows a commercial lot like that. I'm going to take you inside, and this is a good idea, I believe, for any person that's interested in vending that doesn't necessarily need the permission of any manager or business owner because you can run the business outside of your own garage. So I'll take you aside because guess what? I'm also a real estate agent. What if you did a town hall and put in your vending machine into one of these locations? Think about it. Your bedrooms are all on the third floor. Your living area, like kitchen, living room, dining room, is all on the second floor. And this first floor right here is the entryway. And this raises up so that you can put your vending machines. You can lock it up, you know, have this open up at 6 a.m. and have the streets of all the people, especially if you pick a good location, like somewhere near downtown. Somewhere that has a lot of businesses, somewhere that doesn't isn't next to a lot of like snacks. That way, you don't have to ask for permission, and you have a property, and you're generating some income with it. This is if you know you, duplexes are a little harder; they require more down payments. So do multifamily, but townhomes, you can even get an FHA with a townhome, and that's three percent down. Well, you have your own business, so I'm gonna take you guys in. That's such a cute key. I want that key. Oh. <laughs> Alright, Jaime. Keep an open mind. Elizabeth, I know you can convince him.
This would be a great opportunity for you and Jaime somewhere out there in Texas. You have the high ceilings, brand new flooring, the brand new stairs, brand new carpets, windows everywhere. Remember, this is your own private spot. Nobody else can come in here. You can even add a second door at the very bottom of those staircases to provide a little bit more security for you guys. <laughs> Want a guest bathroom? Guest bathroom. That's just a water heater. This is probably your storage or your pantry. Oh, wash and dry. That's nice. I mean, imagine this kitchen. I wish we bought this place. <laughs> Back in the day. Wow. Oh, honey. Mm. Honey. Oh, that's cute. Little bar area. Just sit on down. Wow. Is the lighting okay? Yeah. It's alright. Right now it's not. But that's because. Now, I don't know how much you're definitely into privacy or whatnot. But usually, you're gonna have a lot of buildings next to each other. You may not have a door, but it's one of the only types of properties that allow commercial with residential. This is pretty. Look at this. So like I said, the second floor is your living area and the third floor is more of a bedroom scenario. So most people turn this into a second bedroom here in Southern California, but it is supposed to be promoted as an office. Up to you guys. Maybe it's that candy room. Oh. You guys have your own bathroom here with a shower and tub and a little private bathroom door. That's funny. Somebody needs to shower and it's too shy. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and over here, it's kind of like a Jack and Jill scenario. You have your bedroom. Ta-da. So, hi, man, Elizabeth. I highly doubt you thought of this idea. So I just wanted to let you guys know. Maybe it could be something interesting for you guys to try. I mean, buying a property is extensive and it requires a lot of money. So maybe start off small. Start with a condo, townhome then a house, then duplex, then fourplex. But uh, yeah, I mean, I started off with my condo and hopefully in the next year or two, we go buy our house. And I think it could be a fun idea to do all this. Uh, let me know if you want numbers. I can definitely try to help you with some numbers. And this goes to anybody that's trying to go vend as well. If you have a property like this, stick a vending machine in it. If you have any type of uh, commercial property, try it. It's the easiest, safest way because you won't have a manager trying to kick you out or have to pay commissions or anything. And you don't even have to travel. Okay, so now that we've shown you the place and you fell in love with it and you like the idea, now you probably want to know the numbers. So I just went on Zillow. They, they have a calculator, so anybody can do this. Don't worry. If you were to get this place, this place specifically in Southern California, so I'm sure it's cheaper in a lot of other areas, is $2,549. Yes, monthly. That's with your HOA, your insurance, everything that you need in order to live in this place. Because the listing price is $500,000. And if you were to do 20% down, that is $100,000 down in order to get that $2,549. Remember, Hi, man, you live in Texas. Everything has to be a little cheaper there. But if you were to do 5%, like me and Vivi, we put 5% on our property. If you were to do 5%, your monthly payment would be 3,200, but all you'd put down is $25,000. Now, I realize 
putting your very first vending machine in here if you don't already have a property yeah it's gonna be a little expensive but if you already have one of these properties might as well utilize it or if you're too nervous and you're shopping for properties right now maybe think about getting a property that allows you to have a small business downstairs exactly if you end up not liking the vending machine business go do another business mm -hmm. what else do you think of it here um you can have a merch shop well you already said that you can have like a little candy shop or like a little like so, a little store like a little convenience so store yeah um, there's a couple people here who have like a barber shop. Real estate agents have their own little offices here. There's like an art designer that has a, a space down here too. Did you say law firm already? No. Oh. no. There's, a, there's a law firm here too. But, you know, that income can help you pay for that mortgage payment. And remember, you're building equity. You're, this is going to help towards your taxes. And it's like a forced savings account. So if you have trouble saving, then guess what? Out of that 3,000, yes, you're paying interest and you're paying fees, but a good $1,000 a month is gonna go towards paying down your equity and that's like a savings account. So, let me know what you guys think. Like, subscribe, leave me a comment. This Vivi's gonna be here <laughs> helping me. And if you like these types of videos, just let me know. I'll go find more locations and more businesses to try to help you guys with properties, vending, all that good stuff. And remember, these numbers are for Southern California, so I'm pretty sure out of state, it's gonna be a lot, lot less money um, to purchase something like this. Exactly. Bye guys. Bye.